This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Visit them via the link in the description below for all your PCB services. I've been using them for years, so make sure you try them out. Hi everyone, welcome back to Workshop and today I've got a very, very short video just to fix an annoying problem on my 861D hot air station. Now it's not a fault with the device, it's just an annoying issue that I have and that is when the hot air station is not in use, the unit basically goes to sleep and what happens then is the display will show just a couple of digits just to show uh, that it's, it's not operational but also the back lighting goes out and uh, usually when I'm finished with the workshop for the day I turn all the power off and I sometimes forget that it's just going to sleep but it is actually still switched on so I'm going to make a small modification to the unit just so that the back lighting never goes to sleep it's on permanently for as long as the power switch is on so let's open it up and take a look inside. So there's the back of the front panel. You can see the control board there which doubles up as a display board. You've got what looks like, it's probably a pick I can't quite actually see, and all the support and circuitry and you've got the LCD and push buttons on the front. Now you can make this mod without disassembling the PCB and so I'm going to do that today because I know exactly uh, where to make this mod because I have done it once before in another unit. Um, so we're going to be working down in this area here just to make a small modification to one of the components on the board. Let's take a look. So this is a circuit diagram for the backlighting circuit. You can see you've got the PIC or the microcontroller down here which uh, drives the base of this SS850 NPN transistor. There's a pin out there and that uh, turns on the LED backlighting via a 4K7 resistor which is tied to plus 5 volts. So what I'm actually going to do is disconnect that resistor there so the PIC's no longer driving it and then tie this to plus 5 volts and that will in turn keep the transistor permanently turned on for as long as there's 5 volts and the LED backlighting will be on permanently. So there is the resistor, it's R25, that's the one that comes from the pick. So we're going to lift this bottom end here and just swivel it round to the side and then I think the nearest 5 volts I can pick up is VDD here which is one of the pins on the LCD itself. So we'll move that resistor around and then put a jumper link onto the end of the resistor. And there's the actual transistor there, the SS850. And there we go, that's the mod made. I've used a little bit of single strand wire just to give the resistor extra support at that end to stop it flapping about a little bit. So it's uh, nice and secure and in place. You could probably put a little bit of sealant on there but I'm not going to bother because uh, it seems to be soldered well at both ends and it's robust enough. So let's put it back together again. Okay, mod completed, case back on, let's test it out. So with it operational, put it back in its holster. And there it is, it goes into its sleep state now, as you can see where the dash is on the display and it'll just stay like that forever as long as the power's on. So now when I leave the workshop at night, I've got a good visual indication now that I've still got power on the 861D. Thanks for watching.